Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this chrome effect with your text in GIMP. There has been another video made of this, but I'm going to make a video myself, so that way I have one on my YouTube. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, make a new, uh, new image. We're going to be doing 600 by 400. Click OK. Grab your text tool and pick a gray, like a medium gray, and then put in your text, whatever you want to put in. For spacing, you guys will. And then go down here and go to your spacing. Put 10. And then you can make it bigger. Since so I'm using a bigger word, I'm going to do a little bit more spacing. So. I'm going to do about 25. It depends how long your word is, really. So, space it how long your word is. And then uh, you can grab your enlightenment tool. Click your text. And then put it in the center. But uh, mine seems to not like to do that, so I'm going to do it manually, just with my eyes. Because my alignment tool doesn't seem to want to work with me. After you do that, you want to go ahead and grab your gradient tool and pick, you can pick any color, but I'm going to do a darker blue and a lighter blue, but whatever color you pick. Like if you do purple, make sure it's a darker purple, darker purple as your uh, foreground and a lighter one as your background. Then you want to scroll up between the letters. You can press Control. Hold on. Make sure you're on your background, and then scroll up between your letters, letters like this. Press Control to make it straight, and then scroll up. No, what you can do is you can go to your script foo, layer effects, make sure you have your text click, script foo, layer effects, bevel and emboss, inner bevel, size 10, oops, didn't mean to press enter, don't press enter, size 10, 10, def 10, your opacity is all the way up to 100, merge with layer, it kind of gives that chromey effect, now it's not perfect, so what you can do is you can go to your colors, levels, you can play with these a little bit. Also what you can do is you can go to your colors, curves, and it can also be done this way, by playing with these. You can kind of see how it moves, and it kind of gives it that chrome effect with the uh, shadows. <laughs> also what you can do is you can uh, make a shadow of it underneath by duplicating the layer click your flip tool click vertical there we go 
See, and it does that, and then you can click your alignment tool, click move to active layer. You can move this wherever you want it. If you press control, it will keep it even. So, even with the text. Then you can do it however far you want. Like that. And then next I'll be showing you how to um, kind of make it fade. So what you want to do is um, right click it, go down to add layer mask, add, and you want to make your, just click this and we'll go back to black and white, make sure your black is your foreground. And you on your gradient you want to make sure it's FB, FG to transparent. And make sure you click your gradient tool, and you can just scroll up. Kind of makes that shadow look. If you don't like that, or if it's not perfect for you, you can go back to colors, levels, and you can mess it with these. See? And then, uh, I think that's the same thing. Yeah, so you can just mess with those and uh, get it how you like it, and then you can press OK. Then you make a new layer, grab your little oval tool, make a little oval, say about like that, and move it to the center, and then grab your paint, uh, fill bucket tool. Make sure it's on black, and then uh, you kind of got that um, kind of like shadowy look. And then you can press Control C, Control V, and it should copy and paste a new one. And then you can just move it over, and then you can just keep moving them over. If you press Control, it should uh. Keep it um, even with your other ones. And you just keep doing this till you're done. And it kind of just gives you that nice shadowy look. And then you can select, or, uh, sorry, first you want to. Uh, anchor layer and then you can kind of uh, play with your opacity and instead of having just all the way black you can kind of make it more shadowy kind of like that and that's how you do like a bit of a chrome effect there is another tutorial um and uh i don't know how to say his name it's like uh moon sami or something i would say his name and give him complete credit because this is his original tutorial but um uh I decided to make one myself um but he has he uses a a plugin with his um so I'll try to start putting links down below where to get fonts and brushes and scripts so I'll probably go around and edit my um tutorial soon to add some um links below so that way it's easier for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.